neighborhood stuff and i'm coming at you with a recipe so you will never have tortillas that taste like paper or break apart immediately again for this recipe ideally you want a tortilla press a roller at the very least a pan so you can kind of roll the dough out you'll also need parchment paper a mixing bowl sea salt and we're going to use cassava flour and avocado oil for this recipe because it has a really nice neutral flavor to get started we'll add in two cups of cassava flour to a mixing bowl and then you'll add in about a half a cup of avocado oil as well as one cup of filtered water and top it off with some sea salt Give it a good mix with your favorite mixer or just mixing spoon or spatula and it may be easier for you to just use your hands as you get to the end and the dough starts to form and boom, you have your dough ready to go. You don't want the dough to be too dry or too watery, so don't be afraid to play around with adding a little more flour or water as needed. And once you feel like your dough is ready, start forming small little golf ball sized pieces of dough and set them on a piece of parchment paper until you've used up all of the dough in the mixing bowl. Now for the fun part, we are going to flatten our dough. So you're gonna take a small piece of parchment paper and place it on the press. Then place one of the small dough balls onto that and another small piece of parchment paper onto that and then press down firmly, but not too much because we want the tortillas to have some thickness to them. You're gonna to wanna to very gently peel the parchment paper off and double check that your tortilla dough is nice and thick and doesn't stick. It's okay if you mess this up, it took me a lot of practice to get it right. Once that's done, one of the most important steps here is you're gonna to wanna to grab a plate and a flour or baking towel and set it up on the plate. In order to maintain that soft tortilla consistency, we need to keep the moisture inside the towel once the tortillas are cooked. So we'll be placing them in here as we finish each tortilla. Once you set your stovetop burners on high and you're ready to cook, the best way I found to get your tortilla in the pan is to put it in one hand and carefully peel the other parchment paper off, then just slap it down into the pan. My husband and I always have a fun time doing this, seeing who can make the loudest slap, and it's a ton of fun. And the first few might turn out super janky, and that's okay. Just add a little extra flour on your next one, and that usually does the trick. You will get the hang of it. The one on the right here is what you want your tortilla to look like, and as it bubbles up, it's time to flip it, and then just cook it as toasted as you want it, basically, and place finished tortillas into your towel, and cover up the tortilla to keep that heat trapped inside. Oh my god. Okay. Oh 